our ludicrous space game is all about imagination. So I imagined that I placed a land claim that I didn't need to swipe a credit card for at Denny Delneuve's favorite movie set. The oxygen is pretty thin, there's trash everywhere, and the sandworms are literally unbelievable. It might be a coarse, rough and irritating shithole, but it's my coarse, rough and irritating shithole now, and it's one of the busiest space drug cell locations in the entire verse that after 13 years still only consists of the Stanton system. So buckle up as we fuckle up this epic space adventure and defend our fake imaginary UEE housing rights. The illicit cargo procurable from ERTs and salvage jobs is about to get nerfed into the ground, so it doesn't take long for this Drake interplanetary corsair to begin trespassing and dealing an illegal space crack which would certainly de-gentrify this entire neighborhood, which is unacceptable. There are kids here. Tita. Sorry, bro. As an expert in international space law, what's theirs is mine now. So we take all their stuff and all that's left to do is crack open their ship for the kleptocratic state of Voidy's breaker yard to seize their cargo. <sighs> Any space pirate, I mean upstanding land owner, should know that the Corsair is bugged and cannot be broken into using conventional means, but we're going to try anyway because I'm a star citizen and cannot read patch notes. As a South African, our creative ability to commit breaking and entering is unrivaled. There could be millions of credits worth of space sex eggs on this ship, so we need to resort to unorthodox measures. Boy, dude, I don't hear you yell because I'm too busy protecting my land from the harmful substances trade. While your method is certainly creative, there's absolutely zero chance this will work. CIG diligently maintains over 150 complex ships and keeps them in perfectly bug-free working order. There's no way you're getting in. Shut the f*** up, handsome viewer. I understand physics and the perfect moment to prompt you to like and subscribe.
We're defending our right to protect our home now with an Apocalypse Arms Railgun and as you know, all good Apocalypse Arms Railguns have a name. So I decided to call this one Scuffed Size 1. Look at my fucking fingers, Miniature Aegis Idris Frigate. We can assume that this unfortunate Gladius pilot who was hell-bent on lowering property values on Arachma was a dirty bounty hunter because of our tier 3 crime stat, but thanks to our handheld miniature Idris Elba, we will probably never see him again. I soon realized that the arrow raining inaccurate hellfire from above is probably an NPC and not worth the railgun shots. Not that I would hit them in the first place, so we can casually go back to ship jacking off to SpaceX eggs or something. This once peaceful prime real estate is turning into an irredeemable hellscape before our eyes, so we decide to crack open the Corsair to finally see what's inside. Ugh. 
8 SCU of sex eggs is 8 SCU of sex eggs. All we need to do now is make sure this dangerous aphrodisiac gets off the reputable streets of our property by using the totally normal and non-exploitative respawn method. Man, I hope space of a death man makes this unviable one day. We're on a drake into planetary cutlass blue now and as you know, all good ships have a name, so I decided to call this one well maintained. As we approach, we detect a hornet ghost. But not to worry, it's known friend of the channel, Nona Nelson. It could have been an imposter, however, because he's not flying an RSI Mantis. That's an inside joke for handsome Twitch viewers. Become a handsome Twitch viewer and follow me at twitch.tv slash voidude for live ludicrous space game adventures. Sounds cool, you're playing a science fiction game, you're doing science fiction things. Amazing. As well as other games now and then as we endure the ebb and flow of Star Citizen's hype cycles. For the flashlight. Yeah, that's that's a big drop, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> We remove the safety box we placed earlier to help deter rampant space drug overlords from taking over our home and finally make the sale. The set of June part 2 is safe for another day, I guess. Thank you channel Patreons and channel members for all your support. Your incredible generosity continues to blow me away. Thinking of pledging to this ludicrous space game then use one of the referral codes on screen now for a free 5000 starting credits. If you enjoy my content and are interested in supporting the channel beyond a like and a subscribe, check the links in the description and consider the join button below. Your continued support genuinely helps me to continue producing these videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around the verse. Cheers.